don't know. Do you think do you think it's harder for male talent nowadays than it was when you were in the business back in the day? Cuz I feel like there's a lot of dudes like going ahead and getting like the robotic implants and like all this crazy stuff like nowadays that I don't necessarily know. Do guys happen. really do that in our industry? Literally. No, like the the robot Yes, yeah. I can name Wait, it. Wait, how many robots are out there? How do I don't know about this? Do you what? know? Because you can like fe- can you No, like I can feel, feel the, the button in their balls. Really? No, it's amazing. The button in my balls. <laughs> like, it sounds like a Christmas song. Like, the button in my balls, the button in my balls. <laughs> I just press the button in my balls. It's so amazing because like, of course, they all have egos. So they want to like overfill their to the point that it's like way too hard and I'll just reach down there and like it seems like I'm playing with their balls on the camera but really I'm just pressing Pushing the, the valve to deflate it to my like ideal size wait fuck off really no I've dead ass done that wait okay how come this is the first time I've heard about this <laughs> Okay, we are not talking about guys shooting their dicks up, right? No, no, no. We're not talking about the needles. We're not okay. talking about cow reject. We're talking about the actual implant that you get where it's like a balloon inside of your your phallus that you – okay, so like there's a valve uh, in your I dick. I have heard this from people like who like are um, like paralyzed, like paraplegics getting this. Yeah. But I didn't know that like regular porn performers got it. Oh, dude. Okay, so like we have – I eventually, if you're using Caverject enough, which like a huge portion of the of the male talent pool are mm-hmm. using it now with like increasing frequency because mm-hmm. it's becoming to the point now where like that's becoming the standard practice. Mm-hmm. So the natural guys get really scared about the idea of like, well, what if I just having have, a bad day on set? Yeah, what if I just yeah. have a slightly natural dick and it takes me like 20 minutes longer than the than dude, the, the dude that shoots up? This is absolutely true because like those are the people that you don't hire back because that's an extra 20 minutes that you have to pay. It's like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I selfishly will hire the guys that get boners the fastest and are the most consistent and right, right. are the strongest. Yeah, so like when the coverage act came along, it's kind of like juicing. It's kind of like a mm. it's like our per, it's like a the steroids of porn so like when Caverject came along and guys were injecting their dicks to the point that they were instantly hard and whatever like that was cool and whatever but you're putting a, a expiration date on your penis at that mm-hmm. point so like I know a 31 year old male talent who's been in four years who just got a, an implant because I mean I don't know if he's exactly 31 I know he's like early 30s but okay. somewhere in there but like and he's only been in a handful of years um, he just got the implant because he used Caverject so much and so many days that like it stopped working. Mm-hmm. And like you can't go back from Caverject to like Viagra. Like mm-hmm. you can't go backwards. So right. you can only go forwards into these right. robotic implants. So like w- not robotic. They're not. I just call them affectionately a robot dick. But like the implant thing with the button, that's permanent. That's forever. You can't have. A, you don't wake up with morning wood after that. You just have a button that you control from so you can on. never get a boner on your own it might get a little bit chubbier from what i've <laughs> heard but not like all the way because the apparatus like the vein that controls that at like the underside of their dick right. you've now hijacked you've put this valve that you control with a shut on or a shut off button and like the base of your balls and like you've replaced that with like a balloon in the dick there's like two balloons that go in that kind of like have replaced the function of those two big veins in your dick. Do you see my eyes right now? I know. My mind is blown. Dude, like when they I feel like I never you. worked in porn at all. How do I not know this? Well, you shoot a lot of GG. That's true. I shoot a lot of girl girl. Yeah. I no, don't shoot a ton of boy girl. But like the 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 whole like whatever kind of like implant that they use, oftentimes you have to get like revision surgeries, like it's all this crazy stuff. And I mean... Okay, wait. <sighs> How does this... Okay, so you press a button and it fills with fluid? Blood. It fills with blood. So yeah. it takes... So it opens like a valve that fills it with blood. So there's... So it pumps you gotta, your own blood into it. Yeah, it's like just like diverting from like that big artery that you have Okay. There. Is it your femoral? I don't remember exactly. But whatever. There's like a big artery at the base of your balls that like you are diverting blood flow into your dick through right. it. And then like when you want it to go down, you like press the button again and you just squeeze the dick and you kind of wring it out like a sponge. <laughs> like you just squeeze it really hard and like all of the, <laughs> the blood flow goes back in. Wow. To your body. 
Wow. Yeah. And- now, how does that – does that make any difference with the ability to come? Does it make it harder or easier, do you know, or – is it the same? You know, that's a great question. I do not have a penis. So I, and I've never gotten I that need to far. get a guy who actually has one and is openly, will openly admit he has one, which I feel I'll like. I'll give you some names. At give the me other some bit. names. I, I, I feel seriously like, doubt that they'll come on the podcast and talk about it, though. I feel like, like, one person that I know is like particularly proud of the fact that they got one. They're like, well, I'm a fucking professional. Like, I do what it takes to get yeah, the job you know, done. That's true. Like, yeah. this is the level of dedication that I have to. You can't my argue with that. It's not occupation. logical to me. <laughs> I like it is, like, it totally is on the one hand. But, like, on the other hand, I'm like, there seems, there's something kind of like sad about it to me yeah. at the same time but also too don't we have insanely unreasonable expectations for these men like that's more so what you i'm know? saying is like okay you're gonna do something to like permanently change the course of your sex life because mm. this will change like the way yeah. that your sex life happens in right. some ways like you're gonna change that for a job that pays you 300 to a thousand dollars for the five to ten bookings that you get a month like i mean i don't know i think the median income for a male talent can't be more than 50 to 75k and like the median i'm saying Mm. like the median income i guess so for san fernando like yeah if we're just talking about people that are like strictly like not talking about like only fans or yeah yeah, yeah. um but i'm like would i really like take my whole dick out basically take the whole insides of my dick out yeah. and replace it with a balloon for 50k a year yeah i don't know but at the same time but at like, the same time women do that with their boobs i was about to say that i was like you know we have all of these expectations of like women modifying their bodies to like make them better and more sexually appealing mm-hmm. so i guess if you want to give yourself a performative edge like that's totally great but at the same time though like you know if you have augmented breasts and you are doing porn like your augmented breasts have no competitive impact on my natural breasts you Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying so like that's cool but like the if you're juicing basically Mm -hmm. (laughs) and we're competing for the same positions and you have this competitive edge over me me as a natural person like that's Mm -hmm. gonna have an impact on my income you know what I You're mean? talking about from a guy's perspective. Yeah, from like yeah, the guy's because perspective. you can't tell – like you can tell fake boobs from real boobs, right? Right. Pretty much 99.9% of the time. Right. Um, with the male penis thing, you obviously can't because I fucking couldn't tell. Well, and like if you have it or if you don't, like it doesn't really like impact your likelihood I, – I don't know, like – As long as your dick is reliable and you're, like, reasonably attractive and can, like, fuck good. Like, I don't think that the talent Mm -hmm. will – like, that the audience will care if the talent is got a robot dick. If anything, they'll be like, sick, man. That's fucking cool. Yeah. Or, like, where do I get that from? Yeah, right? I never have to worry about getting hard for a woman ever again. Yeah. Cool. For the the low, low price of $70,000 in a foreign country. Is that how much – no. No. Is that how much it is? I mean, that's what I heard. But, you know. Yeah, because they – do they not do it here? Um, I think they, I think that it's, sorry, it might be 70K in the United States and then people go outside of the United States because it's significantly cheaper. I kind of cheaper. can't believe that, like, I, people aren't, like, trying to advertise.